In this video, we'll learn an easy way to make some custom animated text using the Fusion page of Resolve. Here's what we'll be making. Ooh, look at that. Oh, fancy boy. Look at that fancy boy. Just being fancy. My name's Casey. I teach content creators how to make amazing things in the Fusion page of Resolve. If you're wanting to learn how Fusion works, we have an amazing course. There's a link down in the description. I even have a free survival guide, which is like a little sample video course that uh, has some really good stuff too. So check those out. But let's get down to animating some fancy text. So I have a basic comp here in Fusion and nothing's going on. It's just some text sitting there on the background and being all lazy, doing nothing. And there are a bunch of different ways you can animate text. You could certainly just add like a transform node under your text like this, and you can animate the size and the angle and all of that stuff, right? And so if we wanted this to just kind of, you know, whoosh in here or something, we could go to frame 24, let's say, and keyframe our center. And then we could go to frame zero and then push this off screen like that. And then that would fly in there like this. And if we wanted to ease that keyframe and make it so this kind of slows down before it stops and it doesn't just stop all of a sudden like that, we could go into the spline panel in the upper right, click this button so we open up the spline panel. And then here under displacement, we'll check that. That'll give us a little graph of the keyframes. And if we select this last keyframe and hit F on the keyboard, that's gonna flatten out that tangent. And now this text will fly in and it will slow down before it stops which is very nice, okay? So you can animate just about anything in Fusion using that basic kind of concept, going to a certain frame and then telling any property where to be on that frame and clicking this little keyframe diamond, and then going to a different frame and setting another keyframe. And that's how pretty much most things are animated. But if we wanted to do something a little fancier and have all of these characters in our text animate separately, we can use something called a follower. So if we go into our text node, click on this, and then go over here to where we actually type in our text in the inspector, we right click anywhere, we can go down to follower. And if we click on follower, it seems like nothing happens. Well, that's just great. But actually we have a keyframe now and up here at the top of this panel, this modifiers button isn't grayed out anymore. So if we click that, we have a modifier attached, which is kind of like a fancy filter thing for a property in Fusion. And this modifier is called follower. And what it does is it distributes animation across the word in various ways. So how does it work? Well, if we go into something like uh, transform, let's say, and we go down to size, we can push up the size on Y and nothing happens. That's very frustrating. But actually to see anything happening, we need to add keyframes here. So let's just move to frame, I don't know, 20 or so, and we'll make a keyframe here on Y and we'll push it up. And here we have these kind of growing up a little bit. So let's do like 1.3 something. And then at the beginning, let's have this at zero. So now this kind of grows like this. And then let's actually have this settle down by frame 30. Let's just make this like one. Yeah. So now this kind of grows whoop, and then back. Now, just like anything that we animate in Fusion, we could go to the spline panel here, select all of these, and then hit F on the keyboard to flatten out these tangents. And we'll have things kind of slowing down and kind of stretching in a nice pleasing way. But we could certainly do this with something like a scale on a transform. So why are we dealing with the follower stuff? What's that about? Well, a follower will take these keyframes and it will delay this animation in between the letters of our text. All we have to do is go over to timing right here. And here where we have delay, let's just push this delay up a little bit and look what happens. We instantly get some stuff going on. So now whoosh. Ooh, look at that, it's like a wave. Oh man, that's cool. Look at that, that's a fancy boy. And there are a lot of different options here for changing sort of how this works. So right now the delay type is between each character, but we could have this between first and last character. So we can kind of decide how long this word takes to animate. Whoa, there we go. And so let's just switch to between each character and take this down a lot. So now we have this coming in like this. And by default, it's kind of just going from left to right. But we can switch this order from automatic to something like inside out. And look what happens here. It starts in the middle and kind of floomphs out, which is a scientific term. It floomphs out. And so there are a lot of possibilities with this follower modifier where you can really get some cool stuff happening with your text. So instead of inside out, let's just say um, random, but one by one. And now we get sort of what we had in our example. 
things just kind of growing out of nothing. So this is perfect if you want something that's a little bit more wacky, you know, a little cartoony. You know, you probably don't want this on, you know, a PSA for some disease or something, but, you know, something like, it's Monday. That would work fine. <laughs> And yeah, there's a lot of really cool tools here. And all we did was just animate this uh, Y growing, but you can do any of this stuff. You can mix and match things. So let's say, you know, Z will have it zero, but we can have each of these sort of rotate like this. And now kind of as they kind of grow in, they click into place. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. We'll just sweep this back this way. So now these kind of <laughs> do some wackiness. Again, we'll grab all of these keyframes and flatten them out. Look at that, all kinds of cool stuff you can do. And so you can get really, really creative with how your different letters animate and make some cool stuff. So that's basically how you would animate text in, in all kinds of different ways inside of Fusion. And of course you can do this and make your own titles. You could just save this composition and drag it into your timeline, whatever you wanna do. But yeah, if you know a little bit of Fusion, you're not too afraid to jump in, you can make some fancy stuff completely custom. So that's how we animate text in Fusion. Again, if you want to learn more about Fusion, check out my Fusion Survival Guide, which is a free video course. And we also have the big boy, Fusion Zero to Hero, which is designed to help you thoroughly understand how Fusion works so you can make your own custom graphics and visual effects. Thanks for animating text with me, you sweet friend. Appreciate you. Now go make something wiggly, <laughs> wiggly, wiggly.